This house has been here about 30 years, just doing little at a time, that's all you can do. Right there's what a set of good friends will do for you. New deck. Gang of them came down here and throwed me up a new deck. Beautiful. Free of charge. So that's a friend there. Or if they charge me, it wouldn't make no difference. I wish they had to charge me. Like I say, my friends, they ganged up and I could say within, what, two and a half hours they're gone with it, Joe. How long did you cook that ham? All right. About two hours. Pork loin. Pork loin. Joey cooked on his tailgate there, and, and well, he helped carrying the lumber and all. I started my siding out here. Then you can take a picture of my view out the window. There's three or four bass in there. I'd say at least three foot long. I'll see them out the window and look down on them. Take a little of my liquor money. I'm putting me in a power generator here when the lights go out. I'm the last customer Georgie Power's got on War Woman. Been a lot of good memories right there, though. 15 gallons a week produced. Good, nice, quiet place, isn't it? Yeah. I don't believe nobody could spot it, could they? Right. You don't lose a sip? No, I better not do that. I got a long way to travel. <laughs> One little sip, but it might help you get there quicker. Well, it might. That's the problem. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, this is Wallace Crow. That's my neighbor down here. He's in the bluegrass music, the Crow yeah, Brothers. That's right, yeah. They're on YouTube. Been in Nashville how many times? Oh, no telling. No telling for the last 45 years, yeah. Nashville and the Grand Ole Opry and this and that and the other. So okay. your daddy taught him how to mix? Well, not necessarily him, but he, a lot of these boys around here that was uh, younger than uh, around Lou's age and stuff there, my daddy had a lot to do with uh, yeah, they, oh, they yeah. called him the colonel, didn't they? Yeah, the colonel. <laughs> yeah, that's what they called him, was the colonel. On the average, it produces about uh, 36 gallons in a run. We call it a round when you run it. I put this cap on it here, and steam comes through here, and stimulates in this barrel, and goes out through here and through this radiator, and it condenses in this radiator. Then it forms into the liquor over in this barrel. He's a banjo picker, his daddy was, and them both his boys, Wayne and Wallace. That's who we learned to trade from. That's what they learned the to trade from. The music business and the liquor making business. That's exactly, <laughs> both of them. Go together, yeah. don't it? Bluegrass and... Moonshine. Why not? Hand in hand, yeah. All these years I've done that, and you know how much I've been around that. I've yeah. never I've made enough to float a battleship, you know that. Right. I never, I never drank it or been drunk on it. You know, I never have seen you drunk. Well, right down down this branch right here, Yeah. back where you come to the highway. Right. If you go down there right now, and there's a black hole uh, pipe through that culvert. Yeah. That's the first place Daddy would ever let me put in a moonshine steel with him was right below the road down here when I was 16 years old. He took an old uh, basketball and tied it to the end of that, uh, that hose. black hose and floated it through that culvert. First of all, <laughs> come back above the road and get the water. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the stories on the moonshine in this part of the country. They ain't, ain't a holler here that got two or three that set oh, up yeah. in it at some right, point. Right, exactly. Right. <laughs> I'd say there's 20 or 30 live liquor seals going on in the county at one time. At one time, that's right. Yeah. And, and here in this county right here, was probably the most uh, populated county in the country for making moonshine when it right. kind of come to a head, you know, when it... Uh, right. Yeah. 
So did you grow up on War Woman? I did, right down there. Yeah, he's the next. And you go back to the road, the next house in the gap of the mountain, right up just. I went in a half a mile after you get back to the highway. Yeah, the old house sitting at the gap. There's uh, my old home place. <laughs> good to see you, buddy. All right, good to see y'all. All right, take see care. You. All right. Get in, boys, come back.